our day The way of the crypt of warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, Big Square Road Tour.com. Good morning, Horn of Z's, your sip of chaga, coffee. Oh, lots of stuff going on on the Road Deruta. Um, it's got to be a short one. I'm meeting with Jenny Moonstone today to discuss all the revelations about um, everything. Everything's being revealed now. And I hope everybody can see it, can find it. Um, everything from the Biden situation to everything. It's crazy. This is what I've been waiting for for a hell of a long time. So anyway, I will be talking about this stuff with Jenny Moonstone. It will be posted on the private road. We have a big announcement tomorrow on the road to Ruda. You guys are going to love it. Big announcement tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you what it is now, but uh, April 1st, um, it's all about Ruda. Ruda, Ruda, Ruda. Hold your horses, Ruda. Um, yeah, we're at the end game. Speaking of the end game, today is the last day for... Uh, Bank of America to slam silver below the moving averages. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to do it, which means they probably didn't need to. Uh, a lot of uh, exchange for physicals happened, taking Comex silver and moving it to London to be washed. I've been talking about that for the last couple of days. Um, yeah, it's how they get out of silver derivative positions. But there's a hell of a lot that needs to be washed. I think the total for the month is around uh, 180 million ounces that were removed from uh, the COMEX and brought into the LBMA for whatever kind of games they want to play over there. Uh, it's a con. It's a setup. We all know that. Um, a really interesting thing going on right now with gas prices. I'll get to that in one second. But first, uh, we are looking at $25 silver. Remember, 1980, the price of silver briefly hit $50. Very briefly. It's like intraday type of thing. Um, and how much money have they printed since 1980? I rest my case. Silver should be in the thousands by now, easily. Easily. It is going one-to-one -one with gold. And I think gold's going up from here. Yes, there's millions of tons of gold. There's not 200,000 tons like Jeffrey Christian will tell you. There's millions of tons of gold, but there's even more unbacked fiat money. That system is breaking down right now. It's an awesome process. I thought it would be much more chaotic, but uh, it looks like... You know, people are telling me, oh, uh, Russia's going to back the ruble with gold. It's not true, um, at least not on in the situation where you can cash a ruble in for gold type of thing. Um, backing doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's better than not backing, but backing means nothing if you don't trust the person who holds the gold to count it properly, to, to uh, assay them properly. The U.S. hasn't done that. Are you kidding? Um, and it's just tiny, tiny amounts of gold. All the gold is held at the banker level. Do we really want to go back to their system? Then again, if we open up uh, Chocolate Mountain, probably about a million tons of Chocolate Mountain is my guess. Uh, Grand Canyon probably had two million tons, including what's in the sand and what's in all the secret caves. There's a hell of a lot of gold. Um, I would like to call your attention to the U.S. dollar. The only other, the only currency left to be redesigned by the U.S. government. You flip it over, there's a picture of a pyramid in a, it isn't a desert. There's there's bushes around the bottom of the pyramid. Uh, that's the Grand Canyon gold. That is symbol symbolic of the Grand Canyon gold. The reason Woodrow Wilson put us into this crazy unbagged fiat monetary system. Um, there's a hell of a lot of gold. I don't know how much. That's the problem. And that's the problem with any valuing anything on the planet. Unless you understand the scarcity, you don't know what that value is worth because everybody lies about how much they have, how much there is in the world. Um, and we are, were, we were blind enough to follow their lead. We are not anymore. All that will come into question. So there's no such thing as backing a currency with gold. It would not matter. People don't care. What they do care about is getting gold in their hand. And if you have a redeemable gold standard, like they show in the Federal Reserve comic books, the Wishes and Rainbows comic book has Ruta walking up to a bank teller with a stack of paper money and saying, give me gold, and there's 19 gold coins that are put on the table. That kind of system will work, but not backing anything. Everything else is a joke, and, and anybody who doesn't understand that really doesn't understand the, the size and scope of the problem. It's a faith and confidence problem. No one will have the faith and confidence to, to believe any country that say, oh, I'm backing the currency with gold, but you can't redeem it. <laughs> it's just the stupidest thing. 
I've ever heard. So if you ever hear anybody saying, oh, Russia's on a gold-backed currency, or China's going to a gold-backed currency, or India has a gold-backed currency, it's all a lie. And if it's not a lie, then it's, it's fake. You don't trust it. Nobody, the reason to back any currency is the loss of trust and faith. But if it's not redeemable, it's a useless, another useless promise. Same with CBDC, the central bank digital currency. Another, it's hugely hyperinflationary, by the way. It's just another useless promise, unless it's open source software, limited supply, immutable blockchain that you can't change it. None of, none of these central bank currencies are talking about that. So it's all, all it is is more flooding of the market, more hyperinflationary currency, big freaking deal. These people will not be the deciders. There's no quantum financial system. There's no Nesra. There's no Jesra. There's no dinar revaluation. It's all bullshit. And a lot of people are making money off it, especially off like XRP. XRP guys are selling XRP like it's going out of style. And people are soaking it up. Oh, I'm going to buy XRP for the quantum financial system. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Anyway, um, cryptos are getting a little, they're, they're looking good. We did have a pump. In Theta, you remember, Theta goes separate than the rest of the system. Theta is not part of the, the deep state crypto cabal, as I call them. They just stand alone. Uh, there's no digital currency group in Theta running the show. Uh, so Theta is doing well. If Theta Fuel got over 20 and just went crazy. I think it was up 20% last time I looked. Um, and th that's the thing. They can pump it when they want. And these are the good guys pumping Get your Theta, get your Theta Fuel, get your T-Drop even. I don't know what T-Drop is going to be worth, but it's going to be worth something. If you're staking Theta, you're making Theta Fuel and T-Drop right now. Um, if you're staking T-Drop, you're making a big percentage of uh, gain on your money in T-Drop. So definitely you should... I can't tell you how many times I'm going to scream this. Cryptos are the future. If you want to invest for the short term, silver all the way. 170 years of price suppression is about to go away. Um, and the, there's a, literally just a handful of people, entities that own uh, and control the, the price of silver. Number one is JP Morgan. Number two is Bank of America. Although they have the exact same amount of OTC derivatives now, which is interesting because B of A doesn't even have any silver traders that I know of. This was all done with the... Um, Wink it a nod of the CFTC, Rustin Benham. By the way, it's Don DeBerry Stump's last day at the CFTC. Don DeBerry Stump is out of the CFTC as of today, officially. So now we only have one person on the planet who decides if silver's rigged or not rigged. That's a guy named Rustin Benham, who's already said he colludes with the bank to tamp down banks to tamp down the price. Now we know what the tamp down was. It was Bank of America leasing. 1.2 billion ounces of silver from from JP Morgan. That's that's the extent of the tampdown. And now they either got to buy it or JP Morgan's out of the silver market altogether. That could be the reason. But it's gone. So what are you going to do now? You either pay back the silver, which you can't get, or you settle in cash. Fine, but what are you, you going to do with silver? What What is the world going to do when they wake up one day and silver is not $25? It's $25,000 and you can't get anything. $25,000 an ounce silver and you'll be kicking yourself saying, oh my God, I could have bought it at $2.50. Very similar to what happened with Theta when I was screaming, buy Theta at $5. I mean, at $0.05. Cents. And with the $15, then pulled back to $2. And now it's up at $4. Yes. Theta is going to run to two, three thousand dollars per token. It's a crazy world we're living in, and you have to be dynamic, not static, as Cliff says. If you're not dynamic, meaning you're changing, with as things change, you're going to change. You're going to change. You're going to go with it. You're going to be ahead of everything. You'll survive. If you're static, I want things to go back to the way they were. Good night. Kiss it goodbye. Kiss your fortune goodbye. Probably your life. Because of what they shot in you. You got to change with the times. You have to be ahead of the curve. Cryptos holding nice and strong. Bitcoin 46. They'd have moved up from, they were up to 40, number 45 on the top 100 list. Now they're up to 39 and moving up 30% in the last um, seven days. It's more a function of 
it wasn't allowed to run when everything was out, else was allowed to run. These are these things are controlled on computer programs. Binance controls most of the pricing, um, and who controls Binance? I don't know. China Digital Currency Group. Uh, Digital Currency Group is just. You want deep state back into cryptos? Let that company keep going. Um, yeah, they control the the Bitcoin core developers. That's the scary stuff. Um, but Theta Fuel is moving up quickly up the uh, up the chain here at number where is eighty six, up twenty two percent in the last seven days. Hot! Look at Hollow Chain, up thirty six percent. It might see this is a function of they've really depressed the price. And at some point, you got to be saying, "Oh my God, the price is so low, I got to buy more." I know I'm I'm loaded up with Hollow and I'm loaded up with Theta Fuel, but Look at it run. Now people should start to take a, a take a look at it. They it keeps going up as people pile in. All of a sudden they have a frenzy, and then the price triggers sell and dump the price and winch, rinse, wash, and repeat. Right? We're used to it. I was going to talk about a couple of things on Zero Hedge that are like proof of change, but oh my god, it's like everything on Zero Hedge. Biden unveils response to Putin's price hike at the pump. They're opening up a million barrels a day. Uh, from the st strategic oil reserves, basically that's something we don't want to do. Um, what happened was crude production dove when Biden got in. Here's the problem right here. And, you know, Trump gets in and all of a sudden you see the crude production almost double domestic crude production. Then Biden gets in, bam, it gets slammed down. Uh, what is that? Three million barrels a day. It takes time to develop these oil fields and all that and it takes money and it takes a commitment for your government because you can't have this wild swing in prices what's going to happen now is biden is going to force all these oil companies to start bringing these these oil fields into production and then the price is going to get slammed by the electronic computer programs so they basically bank bankrupt these oil companies so a lot of oil companies are saying i'm not going to i have no idea what the future of uh oil and gas regulation is how can i invest and it takes literally billions of dollars to invest to develop these oil fields <laughs> that this is the problem with market manipulation you can't make choices long-term choices for the future you have to oh, when is when is the uh exchange stabilization fund going to click the mouse and put oil back under five dollars a barrel or minus forty dollars a barrel we don't know so how can you invest billions of dollars into things you're going to bankrupt your country your company it's insane. Again, look at all this stuff. Putin signs decree ordering gas exports to be halted if buyers don't pay in rubles. The ruble is back to 100% of value than it was. Like, it's got slammed down by the computer programs, and now it's back to 100% of value of what it was before this war started, and it'll continue to go up because they're clicking a mouse. And Putin has, Putin's, I hate to tell you, Putin's part of the good guys. Another lie fed to us by our criminal media and our criminal government. Speaking of another lie, a 100% vaccinated cruise ship hit with COVID-19 outbreak, of course. Oh, we better start jabbing people again. Insane. And we're going to have a 22,000 union workers at 29 West Coast ports may strike. Does it really matter if they strike? The, the, the game is already over. Globalization has ended. Wait till China. The next move in this chess game is China cutting us off. This is the best thing. Take all our troops, bring them home, put them on the borders, and rebuild our manufacturing capacity so we're not reliant upon everybody else for everything we have. That is why we shut off all these natural resources into national parks, military bases, world... California Desert Wildlife Refuge, Diane Feinstein locked up. This 41% of all of California is locked up in bullshit like that. And there's no, it's got nothing to do with wildlife. Nothing. Alaska has nothing to do with the, the moose and the anwar. It has 100% to do with what's in the ground. Our, our plan from the very beginning was use everybody else's resources first. First. If they're going to accept electronic blips... You know, pieces of paper in the past. Now it's electronic blips as payment for their for a country's scarce natural resources. Of course, we're going to use theirs first. It's insane. Why do you think 
according to the Gold and Silver Eagle Act, all gold must be mined in the USA, and all silver has to be mined, has to be gotten from anywhere in the world. By law, they are required to to mint enough U.S. eagles to satisfy demand. They are not doing that. The eagle premiums are up over ten dollars. That's insane with a twenty five dollar silver price. Insane. That percentage is insane. But why is it done? Because we have criminals in our U.S. Treasury Department that runs the U.S. Mint. Now, they are preparing for the new system. Absolutely. Gold and silver. That's why the the new Silver Eagle and Gold Eagle have that little notch under it. But in the meantime, they're breaking the law. Janet Yellen needs to go to prison. They cannot continue to do this. Mint the damn coins. What the hell are you doing? It's not, you can't blame COVID anymore. What are they going to blame? Insanity run wild. And then everything else. The Hunter Biden thing, you know, CNN's jumping on the bandwagon. Everybody's, do they, they do know what this means. Biden will not be serving as president very much longer. He was completely in, in the pocket of the Chinese and the Ukrainians. Completely, 100%. And his whole family, and by the way, huge pedal family. Like, shocking. The word on the street was that the police who had this laptop, contents of the laptop, men of, you know, 50 years service to their departments, wept when they saw what the, the insanity of what's on this laptop. I have seen parts of it, and I am just, it was, it was more than shocking. Not only should he be removed from office, his whole family should be hung for what they have done. You'll understand when you see the contents of this laptop. Anyway, that's where, <laughs> that's where we are in the road. It, again, you got to be dynamic. Keep changing. Keep looking for what's going on. Right, right now, I'd invest in physical silver and, and theta and theta fuel. They're going to run theta fuel a lot higher. Uh, the ratio right now is, let's take a look at the ratio. The ratio is 19 to 1 is going to 8 to 1. So Theta will probably move twice as much as, I mean, Theta Fuel will move twi twice as much as Theta. I think it's going to 8 to 1. That's the number Jenny had. That's, that's the number which makes sense if you ask me. So I'd go Theta Fuel. But don't unstake your Theta to get your Theta Fuel. All right. This is Big Square. Rotorua.com. I'll talk to you later.